Hello and welcome to 1117 and 1119 Grafton Avenue, Dayton, Ohio. This is a duplex. There's three bedrooms on the left side and three bedrooms on the right side. Both sides were recently turned over and nice little neighborhood here, brick lined street and all pretty much all brick houses in this area. Um, except for this section over here, we do have some wood siding ones over here, but nice little neighborhood. Next, let's go inside and take a look. All right, so we walked into the 1117 side. This is the left side. Uh, floors have recently been refinished in here, fresh coat of paint. Looks like we have a new light fixture here. Um, does have the original wood windows still. A fireplace that's no longer in use, some nice build-ins over there. We're in the living room right now, and then this walks into the dining room. Uh, from here, we can go upstairs, but we're gonna go check out the kitchen. We do have a pantry right here, basement door right here to our left. Uh, this flooring doesn't look very old in here, and these cabinets are updated as well. Looks like we have new countertops, and uh, looks like oak cabinets that have been painted. And then the kitchen sink overlooks the backyard and there is a two car garage uh, back there. It's more like a carport. I don't believe it has a door on it. Plenty of room for a table in here. So that's the first floor. Next, let's go check out the basement. All right, so here just came down to the basement. Um, it just rained a couple days ago and I don't see any water in here. So currently dry. Um, Goodman furnace, this looks newer. This is a forced air gas furnace. Have our laundry room area over here. All of this ductwork looks newer as well. Gas water heater, that looks fairly new also. Looks like uh, updated glass block windows down here in the basements with vents in them as well. Next, let's go take a look at the upstairs. All right, so here we just came up the stairs. Immediately at the top of the stairs, we have a built-in linen closet here. Very nice there. New flooring, looks like new toilet, new vanity in here, and then there's the tub. Looks like new light fixture in here. Bedroom one, this is on the back left of the home. There are overhead lights in all the rooms, so ceiling fans could be added. Uh, floors have been refinished. And then there's actually a staircase going up to the unfinished attic. The old boiler things, these are not in use. They're just kind of left for decorative purposes. Bedroom two, same thing in here. And again, those are not in use. Then bedroom three, this is the biggest one. And there is a decorative fireplace in here as well. So this is the 1117 side. Next, let's go check out the 1119 side. All right, so here we just walked into the 1119 side. Um, pretty much a mirror image as the 1117 side. Buildings over here, uh, resurfaced floors here. These are plug-in heaters in here. Dining room, and it does have the original windows in it. Linen, or a pantry cabinet here, down to the basement here. Uh, new linoleum in here, looks like new countertop, uh, new cabinets in here, and a good sized dining area. Well, actually, we already have a dining area, so this would be a breakfast area. This is one of those um, additional heat sources. So that's the first floor. Next, let's go check out the basement. All right, so here we just came down the basement. This is our laundry area over here. Updated panel box on both sides here. Looks like a newer hot water heater and a newer furnace. And a lot of the ductwork in here looks newer as well. And updated glass block windows on this side as well. Next, let's go check out the second floor. All right, so here I just came up the stairs immediately to the right. Let me move that door for you. We do have the built-in linen closet in here. And then bathroom here looks like we have a, I can't tell, but it might be a newer toilet, definitely a newer vanity. 
looks like a new window above the tub there. A little built-in medicine cabinet over here. And just like the other side, we do have, <coughs> excuse me, um, overhead lights in all the rooms, so could put ceiling fans in here if you chose to. Looks like a staircase going up to the unfinished attic, so it could make this more bedrooms potentially. And again, we saw that newer furnace in the basement, so all of these units are no longer in use. Bedroom two, and if we're looking at this side from the street, this is the right side. Refinished floors up here. I mean, literally a mirror image of the other side. A dummy fireplace, looks like it used to be gas at one time. So I got updated door there. Most of the doors that I saw looked original. Next, I'll meet you downstairs for a few closing statements. All right, so this is 1117 and 1119 Grafton. Um, pretty, from what I see here, pretty darn good shape for a three bedroom duplex on each side. So six bedrooms total. You have two rents coming in here. Market rent that I've been seeing for these properties um, ranges from 900 to as high as $1,200 for these places. So uh, this one is currently vacant. So you would put the tenants in and dictate what rent that you want. But with the updates that have been done to this place, there are a few things that will probably need to be done in time. But right now, seems like a very solid place and ready for you to put a tenant in. Thanks for watching.